So one, the diagram on the right shows sector KOL from a circle with center O. So we see here center O, radius of 10 cm. Given the area of the sector is 60 cm square calculate. So it mentioned the area of the sector. Like what is the formula of the sector? So area is equal to half R square theta. Where this is radius and this one is theta. Okay. So find the value of theta in radian. So we know that area is equal to half R square theta. It's given that A is 60 and we have R. R is 10 square. Now we can find the theta. Right? So theta is equal to 60 divided by half 10 square. So you get 1.2 radian. So you see here the 100 times 2, this one is 50. So 60 divided by 50, 1.2 radian. So here you get 1.2 radian. This one is in radian. So the formula of calculating the R, S is equal to R theta. So this one is also in radian. B, the perimeter of the sector KOL in CM. So here B, the perimeter. So you see here, if you start from K, you should end with K. So KO plus this one is OL plus RKL. RKL. So KO is equal to radius. This one is 10. This one is 10. So you need to find what is the R. So S is equal to R theta. So R is the radius which is 10 and theta in radian is 1.2. We calculated it before. 1.2. So you get 12. So the perimeter is equal to 10 K. KO plus OL is 10. Plus RKL is 12. So here you get 32 cm. So number 2, the diagram on the right shows sector AOB from a circle. So AOB from a circle with center O. So this is center O. Given that AD is equal to DO. So where is AD? Okay, this one. AD is equal to DO. Okay, so we know that D is the midpoint. Is equal to OC, is equal to CB, is equal to OC. Okay, so this one is also equal lah, right? Is equal to 3 CMO. So it's given this one is 3. So this one is 3. So we know that the radius of the sector is 6 CM. Okay. Find the perimeter of the shaded region in CM. So here, perimeter of the shaded region. So if I start from A, so AB, RAB plus BC, BC plus this one is CD and then you start from A, right? So you have to come back to A. So D, A plus D, A, okay. So you see here BC, do we have BC? So we have BC is 3, right? This one is all 3 cm and CD, we have to calculate it, okay, calculate later, okay? DA is also 3. So we calculate R A B first. So R A B. So we know to calculate R S is equal to R theta. So you see here the formula. So R is radius, theta is in radian. So we know that radian given to radian. So radius is 6. So you see here radius is 6 from O to A and theta is to radian. So here we get 12. So RAB is 12. 12 what? 12 cm. So for here CD, so we see here if you take out the triangle here, you see we have two radian here. Two radian and then uh, we have here OD is 3 cm. So we can use trigo to find what is C, D. So, firstly, to use trigo, we have to be in degree. So, we convert radian to degree first. So, radian to radian to convert to degree, we multiply with 180. So, divided by pi. So, here we get 114 degree, 35. 
35 minit. So, this is the angle. So, I don't want to use Rigo. I think I want to use solution of triangle. So, there is another way. So, here because I have this one, 114 degree, 35 minute. And I have this one is 3 and this one is 3. So, I can find using cosine rule to find this one. To find C, D. So, here C, D is equal to using cosine, using cosine rule. So, this side plus this side. So, 3 square plus 3 square minus 2 times 3, 3. So, you see here these two side. And then, cos, cos the middle one is 114 degree 35 minute. So, here we get CD is equal to. CM. So now I have this which is 5.049. So perimeter is equal to RAB is equal to 12 plus BC is equal to 3 plus CD is 5.049 plus DA is equal to 3. So we get 23.049 centimeter.